In this lesson, let's review how we can optimize images by using Vit. And for that, I already prepared default Vit project. Let's open it up in the browser and start. So at the beginning, as always, let's just do a little preparation. Let's switch over to index.html file. And here I'm going to add an image. And in order for this image to not exceed the available widths of the browser, let's assign widths 100%. And then what we're gonna do inside main.js, firstly, let's clear everything from here and import an example image, which I'm going to add in this project in a bit. So then once we get the path to this image inside the image variable, let's just select DOM element of that image we have just added and assign the path of the image to the source attribute, like so. Let me just quickly add an image to this project here it is. This is how our image we're going to optimize looks like. And then in order to easily see the size of any file within VS Code, we can use the following extension. I already have this installed and the way this extension works is it just shows the size of an active file in the status bar at the bottom right corner. I currently have my status bar hidden, so let me just enable it and right here I can see the original size of this image. As we can see, this image is quite big and the size exceeds 1 megabyte. And now before proceeding further, let's switch over to the browser and make sure that this image shows up. And everything looks good, we can continue. So in order to optimize images, Vit has several plugins and one of them we're gonna use in this lesson. I'm going to use plugin called Vit Plugin Image Optimizer. So this plugin relies on two other libraries, Sharp.js and SVGO, for image optimizations. So first things first, let's just install this plugin by running the following npm command. I'm gonna copy over this command and run it in my terminal. And then since this plugin relies on two other libraries, those libraries have to be manually installed. So one by one I'm going to copy these commands to install these two libraries. Firstly, let's install sharp and right after that let's also install another library svgo and once the installation process is finished we have to configure this plugin and the way we do this is by inserting this configuration into our vid configuration file currently i do not have this file so let me create it and paste in here all that configuration there is nothing special about this configuration and the most important thing here is that we import and include our new image optimization plugin and add it to the vid pipeline. Actually, this plugin allows us to configure a lot of things, but we're not going to review any possible configuration option. And instead, let's just see how to optimize an image with an extension .gpg. So let me copy over this configuration option and paste it into my vid.config.js. And by using this option quality, we can configure how much we want all GPG images to be optimized. So as an example, let's specify 80. And by the way, image optimization only happens when building the project for production. So I'm gonna have to run the build by using npm run build. And right here we can see the new output. This is the result of that image optimization plugin. And right away we can see in here that two images were optimized. The first image is that image we just added to the project and another one vid.svg is a default one, which resides inside public folder by default. So as we can see, the size of the first image was reduced by around 300 kilobytes. And now to see the result in the browser, I'm gonna have to run npm run preview to open up build project in the browser. And by following the address localhost 4173, we can see in the browser build project. And there we go, we got here an optimized image. But the size here is a little bit different than the one we have just seen in the terminal. Anyway, our image optimization is worked. So now let's just change the value of the quality configuration option. For example, let's specify 40 and then rerun the build by running npm run build. And this time the image size was reduced even more. And of course, if I'll open up this build in the browser, we can see in here the newly optimized image with the size of 300 92 kilobytes. So let's review. In the editor, let's open up original image with the name image.gpg. And as we can see, the original size of this image was over one megabyte. 
But then when building the project for production, the size of this image was dropped to 344 kilobytes. And actually the point of this lesson was not to show you how the particular plugin works, but how to include any plugin into Vit, because the installation process as well as configuration will be pretty similar. And of course there is not the only plugin which allows you to optimize images, there are also other choices. So we just have to pick that plugin which satisfies our needs, and then follow simple steps to install and configure this plugin, and then we'll be good to go. Let's keep exploring capabilities of it in the next lesson.